Hey, this is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. It's Monday, January the 14th. I'm doing this really early. It's only about a little after 1 o'clock here, and there weren't really a lot of setups today. You can see the price action here. Uh, but we're having a little bit of a, a ice storm going on right now, and the schools have closed down, and uh, so I'm going to leave out of here early. Everybody the office is closed. I'm the last one here, but uh, i got to leave briefly here to go pick up my daughter from school or she's going to be standing on the street, the, the schools are letting out early. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a, um, I don't know what the weather's going to do, so I'm not sure I'll come back to the office today. I'll probably just call it a day as well. And hopefully I'll be back tomorrow, unless we've got uh, something crazy going on. I'll be back. Uh, it's supposed to be 50 degrees and sunny here Wednesday, so shouldn't last but another day at the most. But if you don't hear from me tomorrow, assume that maybe we got iced in or snowed in here. And uh, that's where I'm at. But uh, let me get to this quickly because I don't have a lot of time. I need to get out of here. Um, <clears throat> it's starting to ice pretty badly out there. And I've got to thaw my vehicle out. And I see it's covered in ice out there. So, uh, <clears throat> But I uh, hope you're somewhere where it's sunny and warm. And if you're not, I hope you're uh, inside where it's nice and warm and dry anyway. Um, but t here's what I saw. The market opened right in here. Uh, we're... we're the market's trending down, you can see that, and you should have been able to have an idea there's some kind of trend line right across here. Uh, you may have started with it uh, drawn more like this, which is where I had mine originally. But once we got this movement down here, uh, I changed mine, and then I just copied it and drug it up, and I think that's what it looks like right there. But... Uh, <clears throat> So we definitely have a downtrend here. Excuse me, I just can't get my throat cleared there. I'm sorry. Um, but we've got a downtrend working here, and we had a little. We went into this trading range. Of course, you know we've had two legs down, a pretty nice move. So you expect some correction. Uh, there's also some support from um, the previous day in this area, and uh, so we kind of went into a little bit of a trading range. But the bias is down, so we're still looking for shorts at this point. Um, prices broke up above this little double, triple top across here, and so this is a great place to go short right here. I would have liked if this closed on the low, but it's still worth taking. And guess what? It did snap back. Uh, as long as you had your stop above the high, you were still okay. But when you got a second entry right here, even though that's kind of a doji, it was still worth taking because that's a double top on a two tries to go higher that failed. So the odds are we're going to come down and at least test this low, and that's exactly where we went to. Uh, it found some support down here, but it didn't find, you know, couldn't rally out of there. It just, it, it worked on through it. So any runners were safe. As long as you didn't get shaken out here, uh, your runners should have been safe, and you could have ridden this all the way down, at least to in here, if not down to the lows. It's usually best when you start to get overlap like this after a big move. Just go ahead and take your profit and exit, and then look for another entry. And we never really got a, no, a good setup. You might have considered going short right here. But after that move down and uh, all this overlap, that's really risky. It would have worked. You see we went on down a little lower. But once you saw all this overlap, that's really risky going short right there. Uh, again, it might have worked. But um, I wasn't worth something I wanted to take. I wanted to, I want to get in when prices are up here or like this and catch this move down. So, uh, But now we've got... These uh, kind of matching lows across here, and we broke lower and failed. And that was, by this time, you should have had some kind of trend line going here. And that's the third push down. It's a really nice reversal bar. We're long, you know, we're a little bit away from the EMA. You know it's going to snap back. And uh, we've got, well, let me get my, we've got one leg down. And then now look, a perfect measured leg down, exactly where you're looking for a reversal at. And um, so going along right there is worth taking. And this one, uh, any runners were safe, could have ridden this all the way to the top. So if you didn't catch anything but these two, they were really good trades. And so that's why you got to learn to spot these. Uh, that's your first big reversal bar right off the trend line. Uh, if you found it by drawing it off these lows and bringing it up. And um, nice place. It kind of hesitated, but it moved on down, and then it bounced. But then you got kind of a similar setup as you had over here. You got a double top, another chance to get short. That's a very bearish bar. 
Um, again, all I got was a scalp, nothing more, and uh, then we bounced. By that time, you can you should be able to see that we're easily we're in this trading range here now, and uh, you, we may get a setup off this high. That was a really nice setup right there. Uh, if I'd have been trading, I might have been short right there. Um, because I really like that setup. I see two legs up. I see a huge reversal bar. Uh, I still wouldn't be surprised to see us test these lows. Uh, but a lot, you know, lately there's a lot of times we don't test the lows. So you just have to follow the price action. But uh, I kind of like that setup. I would have risked that uh, with a stop above this. Uh, I would have probably got short by dropping a limit order in here and trying to get short closer to that high just in case I'm wrong so I don't give back all my money. But I kind of like that setup. We'll see what happens. I may not be around here to see it. But uh, but that's all I really got time for today. And you might have considered going long here. But let me tell you why you shouldn't and why I didn't. Because the trend is down. There's been no break of the trend line. And until you get a break of the trend line and at least a retest of the trend line, and you start to see prices making higher highs and higher lows. But here's something else to think uh, about why this might go higher here. There's an overnight low that's up here um, at about 50, uh, 66, 75, 67. And we haven't filled that yet. So my guess that's where we're heading. So it wouldn't surprise me at all to see a measured leg over here just like that measured leg and guess where that puts us right to that met to that overnight uh gap so um that's a good reason not to take that low to take that short right there and looking at it with all that overlap knowing we haven't filled that gap yet that's probably a good enough reason you'd be better off to wait on a second entry here just for that reason alone and there we go i do see it trying to work higher um I don't think that's worth risking a, a long right there either um, because there's not really enough room. I mean, we could go higher than that. We may go and test these highs or even back up and test these lows. I noticed that we never really had a pullback to test that breakout area either. So we, I see a gap right there. So we could be headed up to there. But uh, I would at least be thinking about that measured leg right there compared to that one, just like we did coming down. So, But anyway, uh, I hate to rush at this today and – you know, it wasn't a very good trading day for uh, me as well because I didn't get to finish trading. But, uh, hey, the weather's messing me up, and I apologize. But I uh, hope you had a good trading day. Hopefully we'll have a good trading week, and the rest of the week will be um, a little bit uh, less hectic with the weather. And uh, I will hopefully see you tomorrow. But if not, I'll probably see you Wednesday. And uh, But I'm guessing I'll be back tomorrow. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.